Whether you're looking for answers to specific life questions or seeking to become the best version of you possible, welcome to the Mental Breakdown and Psych Reg podcast, where we offer insight, information, and strategies based upon research and years of practice as clinical psychologists. So sit back, have a listen, and get connected with our hosts, Dr. Bernie Wilkinson and Dr. Richard Marshall. Welcome back. Richard, I have a question for you. Yes, sir. Do you listen to music when you work? I do. You do? I do. I, you know what? I ask you that even though I know you do because I'll walk by your office sometimes and I'll be thinking, what is he listening to in there? And you're listening to music. You know, one of the first important things that I wrote was in a pediatric text. Mm-hmm. And um, I would get up every morning mm-hmm. and I'd put one in those days, I think it was a CD or a tape. CD. Of my brother's music. Uh-huh. And uh, you've heard some Dolphins and some yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Piacenza. Um, and, and I wrote that chapter to that music. Oh, great. Mm-hmm. Now, I, and I did my dissertation while listening to... I hate to, to ask what you listened to. Velvet Revolver. What? <laughs> Velvet Revolver would be something like the Sex Pistols or something like it, that. Right? Well, you know, the Velvet... Guns Velvet, and Roses. Velvet Revolver was basically Guns and Roses without Axl Rose. Something very quiet. Yeah, soothing. Um, now, did you really? I did. Okay. I did. Because um, I did a talk on Wednesday night at a middle school, and one of the questions... Almost always. Almost always. It's I almost was going to say invariably, is should... We get to the topic of um, um, cell phones, mm-hmm. because what the children want to do is they want to they want to listen to music while they're working. Right. So they put their, their earbuds, and they want to listen to music. Mm-hmm. And parents... It, it, the the, the uh, initial really parent happen. reaction is no way I think it's too distracting right okay so we will begin by saying it's not a simple answer right okay right. so right. should 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 we should we listen to music while we're working there's no there isn't a simple answer to that right and that's what we're going to talk about it the, is the complexity of it it is it it is complex um. And, and I think that it's it's great. We, we're going to talk a little bit about us, um, an article written in, right. and published in Counseling Resource, mm-hmm. counselingresource.com, uh, mm-hmm. uh, written by Dr. George Simon. Mm-hmm. And so this article is, a, is entitled, Do We Work Better to Music? Right. And so it kind of addresses exactly what we're talking That's about. That's exactly the question that parents ask. Right. Should it? Okay. Right. Now, so, so let's... Um, again, we were just saying both of us listen to music right. um, when we're when we're working, mm-hmm. and uh, I I like to think at least that that it improves my work, my my, right. my overall functioning, my mm-hmm. uh, my efficiency. Right. And so when I'm talking to parents and we're talking about their kids, especially if they have kids with ADHD, mm-hmm. uh, kids who when you're doing tasks that you're not really overly excited about right, right. Um, menial tasks um, repetitive tasks mm-hmm. it is good sometimes um, to listen to music while you're working right but but when we said that it's not a simple answer the reason that is the real reason that it's not a simple answer is because um, <laughs> is is really because it depends on the music that's right that's right. I can work to some music, yeah, but I can't work to all music. Right. Okay. Yeah. So you have to find. We, we talked about Goldilocks before, right? Right. But it it really is this sort of Goldilocks um, music Goldilocks that you have to find. That's right. What's right for you? Right. Is it too much? Is it too little? Yeah. Because people say, well, maybe he should listen to classical music. Right. Classical music might put you to sleep. It, it could put you to sleep. It could bring you down. It could. That's right. um, you want to be a little more aroused. Right. While you're working. So you want the music to get you where you need to be. Right. If it sends you in the other direction, mm-hmm. um, it's not doing you it's any not good doing at all. Good. Right. right. Yeah. So so let's let's talk very briefly first about music. You know, music is um, e- emotionally evoking. Stimulating. You know, right. it, it, it yep. creates emotions, and it's intended mm-hmm. to create emotions. That's right. That's right. Um, it's intended to make you think about certain things, to feel mm-hmm. certain things, and so there are there is music. There there are um, songs and, and tunes that are mm-hmm. intended to make you sad. Right. That's right. Just like there's <laughs> movies um, that are intended to make you sad. To make you country music used to be that right. way. It's not so much anymore because we have country rock, but um, the old yeah. country tunes were always about divorce and death and separation mm-hmm. and problems and poverty. 
you know, it brings you down. Right, right. Um, and, and meanwhile, other music is supposed to lift you up and make you, give you energy. and What, keep, what was yours? Mine was Velvet Revolver. Velvet what Revolver. I listened to. Lifts you up. Well, it, um, I don't know what it did. It just, it got me going. It got me, I was able to work. Um, <laughs> and so. Uh, That's a lot of stimulation. It is a lot of stimulation. <laughs> wow. um, but some of those songs were great. But anyways, um, so, so it's really, you really have to find that balance because if it is too much. Right. Um, and, and too much, it, it can be defined in different ways because it could be too much because it's either too fast uh, too loud, mm -hmm. too, um, there's too many words. It, right. it could be too much because it makes you think too much. Right. You know, you're, you're really, okay, well, hey, what does that mean when they talk about that? Or, mm -hmm. you know, it makes you think about things right. that draw you away from your work. And so it does have to be this sort of perfect combination of uplifting enough to keep you stimulated, but not so much that it distracts you. Right, and that's the Goldilocks right. thing that we were talking about, is it, it has to be just right. Right. It also depends on the task that you're trying to do. It does. I mean, there are mm -hmm. times when I have listened to music and I'll either switch tasks or I'll, if I'm writing, right. I'll get to a part where I can't work things out and the music might become a distraction mm -hmm. at that point, mm -hmm. okay? So if you're doing math problems, you, let's say you have 10 math problems to mm -hmm. do, okay? Maybe music would help you. Right. Then you move on to biology mm -hmm. or you move on to your spelling lessons and the music doesn't help you. Right. Okay. So it's all there is also some relationship between the task the child is trying to do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If it's routine and they do it over and over and over and over and over again, music is probably a good idea right. because it arouses the brain. Right. When you do repetitive tasks, you have a tendency to, to get dull, to get right. tired, to get bored, to lose interest. If music stimulates you, mm -hmm. what did you listen to? Velvet Underground? <laughs> Not Velvet Underground. Velvet Underground would bring you down. Velvet Revolver. Velvet Revolver, which stimulated you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that provided stimulation right. when you needed to be kept right. going. Right. Okay, um, and that's the other thing that parents need mm -hmm. to be aware of. It's not. It's not a simple answer right. of yes or no. It's what task are you doing? What kind of music right. do you need to do that task? Right. And so, if you are thinking about your child and, and their use of music, mm -hmm. two things to consider. Right. One. Um, the 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 type of music that they're going to listen to right. and, and the task that they're going to do. So you you want to keep that in mind. Right. But the second thing is, if listening to music, um, if, if while listening to music they're getting their work done, right. Mm -hmm. Even if your argument is, but it takes him twice as long to get it done. My response to that is, who cares? Right. Who cares how long it takes him to get it done if he's doing it? Right. You know, if he's getting it done and it takes him an hour to do something that should take him 30 minutes, right. but he's not complaining about it. Right. Mm -hmm. And nothing else. And not, it's not interfering with anything he's else. He's not losing sleep. He's not yeah. giving up other subjects. You know, nothing. No, there are no negatives. Exactly. Right. Don't, don't Time make a big a deal about that. Exactly. Um, sure, to you, it would be better to be more efficient mm -hmm. and to get it done faster. Right. But the point is that your child is learning a strategy mm -hmm. that's going to help him or her maintain the focus that that is needed mm -hmm. to complete the task right let it be let yep. them do it that way if right. that's the way they need to do it right let it be yeah oh that could have been a that, good one to listen that could to. have been a, yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. I've, beatles I've done music. done some writing to beatles music yeah as yeah. well so so um but the one other issue before yes. we leave they may want to use their cell phone to listen to this music right. and that might be a problem because right. now you have two issues. Right. Are they messing around with the cell phone or are they really using it to listen right. to music? You just have to be observant. You have right. to watch. You have to be aware. And if it looks like the cell phone is becoming a distraction, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. not the music, but the cell phone, then you have to remove the cell phone at least during that homework time. Right. Find so. a different way to play music. Right. Uh, you can play it through the, the computer. Mm -hmm. You can play it through mm -hmm. iTunes or on the computer. There are other devices that they right. can use. Yeah. They don't don't buy the argument that it's only on their cell phone. Right. Okay. Uh, don't don't get drawn into that one. Right. Yeah. There's lots of other ways to right. to get it. So. Right. All right. Oh, we could talk more about that one. We could. Okay. But we need to. We need to move on. We do need to move on. So, that's Please. it for today. Thanks for listening. Um, until next time, stay happy, stay healthy, and forget to be afraid.